All right, it is August 8, 2022, and here we are back at the Plumeria. So um, I just got done doing some cleaning here. I don't really weed these pots. I actually just cut the weeds um, right at the base because um, typically when I pull the weeds out, the roots of the weeds are entangled to the roots of the, my plants that are potted. So I just kind of cut them out. As you can see here, this is exactly what it looks like before it's weeded or before I trim those weeds back. And this is what they look like after I've trimmed those roots back. Um, like I said, I don't like the fact that the weeds of the roots are tangled in with the weeds of the, the uh, actual plant that I'm planting. Um, and of course, I can always weed them earlier, but uh, I don't always get the chance to get to all my plants. So this kind of saves me um, the stress of having to get to it immediately. Um, and it turns out perfectly fine um, for most of my plants, um, especially if the plant is already established. Uh, when the plants are younger, of course, you'd want to weed it out um, as soon as those little weeds pop up because that kind of gives uh, whatever you're planting the opportunity to um, establish itself before any weeds do but we have um, I don't know if I said it but uh, I think it's been about two years since we've been back to these plumeria and there are about I think four five maybe six varieties here um, and I really don't know I do know the different colors that I have and two of them are purplish magenta um, one of them is pinkish um, yellow and the other two are white and there's another white one that's a smaller one and of course the very small one that I have a video up of um, here on the channel but I don't know how many varieties I just described there but uh, that's how many varieties I think we have here um, they're long overdue for transplantation as you can see, they're still in the one gallon pots that I had originally put them in. And um, I really need to transplant some of the bigger ones like this one here, here, and uh, maybe this one back here. Because the moment just a slight breeze comes through, these plants just fall over. And um, sometimes they end up staying there that the plant actually starts growing up sideways. So that's definitely not good. For the rest of them, they seem perfectly fine for now. But um, I'm, I'm really gonna transplant the majority of them. Uh, the smaller ones here in the front, you can see are in three inch pots. They need to go into one gallon pots. Um, this one will stay this way. This one I think has been over watered. So I need to cut back on the watering for him for a little bit. Um, these plants are really low maintenance. So I really didn't have to pay too much attention to them. Um, the only thing that I've added throughout these two years, other than the miracle Grow uh, fertilizer that was already in the potting mix, was some Osmo Coat um, top feed. So they kind of look like little BBs, little beads, and you just kind of sprinkle them on top of the soil. And as you water, it slow releases that fertilizer into the, the soil there. But um, that's only while they're in pots that I have to fertilize them. And once I put them into the ground, uh, I'm just going to kind of let them do their own thing. But that's for another video in the future. For now, um, <clears throat> here's what we got. Back here you can see, you can kind of see the bigger plumeria, which was the very first one that I uh, made a video of. But these varieties, as they start to flower, will uh, continue to update. Um, I'll put some update videos of the different varieties. So you can, as you can see here, the foliage looks very, very alike. They look very similar to each other and it's hard to tell until that bloom actually comes out except for this one here um, and I'm um, I think this is just a white variety but as you can see its leaves are very different from the rest of them so the kids here are wreaking havoc on the plants so uh, we'll cut the video there and we'll come back sometime in the future um, I'm going to go ahead and transplant some of these, but we'll come back maybe in a couple months Daddy. couple months to see what they look like then. Daddy. If you got any questions, uh, comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment block and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Um, but other than that, uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks for watching.